women are supposed to be more peaceful than men. You don't seem to be. What good is the peace of Nazism or communism? You answer me. Do you think that's peace? Do you have no rights? Do you I, have no I, law? I, you know what I was thinking what about? What good that? is the peace of I Nazism or about, communism? I was thinking about the Falkland Island, and I couldn't quite, uh, you know, think about well, You're saying peace at any price. I went down to Falkland Island, that they may have peace mm. with liberty. Mm. Precisely my point, that they may have peace with liberty. What but was the peace of Stalin? Do you know how many people Stalin murdered? Don't you think that people in the Soviet Russia, since Mr. Gorbachev gave them that fundamental human rights, freedom of worship, freedom of speech, without any rule of law, there's still no rule of law, only the diktat of the ex-communist party? Is that what you call peace? It's not what I call peace. It's what <laughs> I call force. You are very good at, at getting me away from my questions. No, you know? I am good at making you formulate your question yeah, properly. Yeah. Peace is not peace under. Stalin, Hitler, mm -hmm. dictatorship, communism. But I, it was I, merely the I, it was the presence of a war, of dictatorship yeah. over the people. Socialists mm -hmm. don't like people to do things for themselves. Mm -hmm. Socialists like to get people dependent on the state. You never build a great society that way. But are the British better than other people? Well, we haven't been defeated. So you are better. We've stood up for what we believed in. But what I hate more than anything else in the world is what Hitler stands for. It's, it's, you're not that morally virtuous to notice that. But you did, did you fight against him? Well, I wasn't born. Did your I people like fight to. against him? I would, li I would like to. I would like to have said that my people have So you him. admit that as a matter of fact, it was America, Canada, and Britain that land on the Normandy beaches. Yes. France had been defeated. But, listen, but I didn't uh, get the question. Spain was under fascism. Italy had been under fascism. So you admit all of those things. Yes. And then I'm you say, well, you don't like it if we say we are better. I say we were better at standing up against tyranny. And that is fact. And okay. that is the lesson of history. Yes, but that wasn't the question from the beginning. I was just going to say that, to me, what Hitler stood for is the, the worst that, uh, I mean, is the worst in history. But to me, it is uh, a person or a people saying that our people is better than any other people. But what are you saying by better? What I am saying is, as a matter of fact, it was the Anglo-American alliance that stood up and fought the tyranny which you hate. So did Norway. So did Denmark. So it's the Scandinavians as well so who what, stood up and fought. What do you think of Sweden? Sweden was neutral. What do you think of Sweden? I think if people had been neutral against Hitler, Hitler would have won. If people had been neutral against Stalin, Stalin would have won. So you think that Sweden was No, I am not going to go coward. and say any more. Uh, all the people that I interview, I ask them to do something for me. It's kind of a gimmick on my show, uh, and it's to make a jump, just to stand up and make a jump up in the air. I shouldn't dream of doing that. Why should I? Well, I see no significance whatsoever of making a jump up in the air. I made great leaps forward, not little jumps in studios. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just won a bet, because where I work, everybody betted whether you should make a jump or not. And Certainly I, not. And I was almost the only one who said that you will never do it. I shouldn't dream it. I think it's a silly thing to ask. Yes. I think it's a puerile thing to ask, yes. And Gorbachev did it. Well, you amaze me. Yes. I wonder what he thought of the politics of a free society, if that's what they ask you to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of people find it, you know, just amusing. It's just, it's just a way of showing another side of people, you know, because the people I interview are so used to talking and talking. But when I, I wasn't used to talking. I was used to doing more than little jumps. OK. But it's hard for you to show what you do in an interview. But you can stand up and you can make like a jump. It just, you know, it just What's shows another it? side. It just shows another side of human being, you know, because everybody jumps in their I'll own tell way. you what it shows. It shows that you want to be thought to be normal or popular. 
I don't have to say that or approve it. This has been my whole life. It's, it's just a gimmick, you know. I mean, people know that. Oh, right. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, no to coin a phrase. <laughs> I do not wish to lose the respect of people whom I've kept, whose respect I've kept for years by doing something so absurd.